All right, so what's happening? Orange County's judicial system is in crisis. The Department of Justice this month said it's going to investigate the Orange County District Attorney's Office and the Orange County Sheriff's Department. They're going to be looking at these two departments to find out if they've been routinely cheating defendants out of their civil liberties in order to win convictions. This sounds like something out of a movie. It's not. It's what's happening here in the county. Well, first of all, the notion that we have a network of jail informants and we have uh, special handling deputies that are spending all of their time moving these informants into convenient places is false. At the heart of the snitch controversy in Orange County is the idea that police and prosecutors have been using a network of uh, jailhouse snitches to get confessions from inmates who already have lawyers. Now, there's nothing wrong with using an informant or a snitch to get um, information or to get evidence against a defendant. But once that defendant has an attorney, and once that defendant has invoked his right not to talk to police, then you can't do that. You can't send an agent of the police in to try to talk to him. That basically is the uh, um, main allegation in Orange County's uh, snitch scandal. Uh, there are a number of things that we're doing to um, ensure that, uh, we don't, that we don't have any of, these, any of these bumps, but we need to continue to move forward and, uh, and, I, and I, I tell you that we're going to continue to use informants when, when, uh, when necessary and important and, uh, and lawful in criminal cases because we have a duty to investigate those cases, to get the evidence, and to bring uh, uh, criminal uh, defendants to justice, particularly when they commit violent uh, acts against uh, innocent people. you're gonna say okay why does this matter uh, there's a couple reasons one um, you don't want to put an innocent person in jail that's one of the things that can happen when you violate civil rights like this um, the other is that you want to keep guilty people in jail uh, at least a half dozen cases have kind of come apart uh, when prosecutors uh, were found by judges not some wild-eyed reporter or a, you know crazed uh, angry uh, defense attorney but a judge who looked at the evidence and said you know you use the informants in an illegal way in three of those cases you have people who were convicted of either murder or attempted murder who've either gotten out for time served um, or out on bail um, because their you know their cases came apart um, they might be getting a new trial but right now those those cases are in limbo This has come to light because of the biggest murder case in Orange County, which is the, the Scott DeCry case. I don't want to hear a tie. A gunman came in and killed a bunch of people that I were on dying on the floor. Okay, we have police and paramedics on the way. He's still shooting right now. He's still shooting right now. There's a, there's a white man in a white truck. He's the guy who has admitted uh, shooting uh, eight people in Seal Beach back in 2011. Uh, he admitted his crime right away. He was in the Orange County Jail, and the prosecutors were concerned that he was possibly going to plead uh, innocent by reason of insanity. A, an informant came to the prosecutors and said, hey, I've heard uh, him talking about this crime. Um, he's a regular informant. He informed in other cases as well. Uh, and so they trusted him. And then prosecutors worked with him. They decided, yeah, let's, uh, let's get together and, and have you talk to him and we'll record your conversations. Uh, the fact that they were doing this after DeCry had a lawyer is uh, a violation of his civil rights. Um, so, you know, that's the, the basics for, for what the current snitch scandal is. All right, so there's a couple ways this can go. The Department of Justice is going to be here. They're going to investigate the investigators. They're going to look at their cases. They're going to talk with prosecutors. They're also going to talk with a lot of local defense attorneys. Um, they're going to talk with Sanders, the guy, the public defender who's been making a lot of these accusations. Uh, they're going to talk to people who've investigated this so far. Right now, the state attorney general's office and the grand jury are also conducting separate investigations. Uh, we believe that at least some of their information is going to be shared, although 
we're not certain of that because all of this will happen in secret. It's going to last from anywhere from a few months to possibly a few years. Well, you have to be concerned that maybe some very guilty people are going free or getting uh, benefits because of the mistakes that have been made. The defense needs to know, frankly, what is there. If you're using tainted witnesses, they need to know that. Uh, in short, it should be an even playing field. Now, the DA has said that no innocent person has been put in jail. That may or may not be true. However, the argument is, is that if you're violating a defendant's rights, whether he is you know, guilty or innocent, um, it's a violation of everybody's rights. You know, the country is based on the Constitution, and nobody wants to break you know, the Constitution. They want to put bad people in jail, but they want to do it properly. And that's the reason people should care about this. If uh, um, a, a, a defendant's rights are not being um, defended, it affects everybody's rights. It could happen to you if you get arrested.